actually hi i wish i could show way more than this but please let me manage the position i have to use the you know sunlight i do not have a ring light yet so but this is pretty manageable so i don't know what area you are in nigeria but in the axis of where i am the matan is so dehydrated and i have to use the lip balm before we proceed to what we have to say in this video today yeah so in this video today i want to be talking about face redness why do you have face redness welcome back to my youtube channel this is est dennis here if you're a new uh, subscriber welcome to this channel we talk about here is skincare diys products you can use on your skin reviews on products that are you know good good out there that you can grab and use and as well try out the products that we make naturally as well that we sell in store so today we'll be talking about face redness also known as rosacea you know face redness is something i used to see in old people while growing up when i say old i mean while i was a little girl i used to look at the 30 to 50 as the ones who really experience rosacea but nowadays it's now everywhere even in girls of my age ladies of my age you see people the young lady having a rosacea like this redness let's just use the normal lame word redness you have they have face redness is mostly on the chin here you know there are a lot of counterfeit products out there from people who say they are doing organic there was a time i treated this face redness of my clients she said she got goat milk face cream i don't know although people give products whatever name they like as skincare vendor but i don't know what that could contain and she used until her face got red and it's inch are that if she walk in the sun she feels very red and it gives her this peppery sensation that when she came to me it was so bad i had to tell her to go see a dermatologist that before i give her my own you know my own uh, skill and knowledge about what could be used on face redness i want to hear what a dermatologist would say but it came out same Firstly, there are two ways to treat face redness. And the first thing you need to do before those two things is to discontinue whatever you think or you feel gave you that face redness. I don't see people who have face redness from childbirth. It's not possible for you to have redness from childbirth. It comes from harsh chemicals used. And the reason why we have to be careful on face, in my last video, somebody was talking about why we shouldn't use carotides on the face. You can't use it on the face. You have to be very careful. Your face is your first identity. And if you mess it up, you know, when you're looking for correctional products, it is always very stressful than the products that cause the issue itself. Looking at, for example, if you have stretch mark, before you have stretch mark, you wouldn't know the value of your skin. You have stretch mark first. That is when you will know that to look for solutions to skin issue can be very stressful and costly. So that is why, especially the face, do not joke with it. Do not let any skin vendor use your face as practical or mistake, like a lamb, please. So she got it. She's a very beautiful girl. Fair skin is mostly, redness that is rosacea is mostly found in the red skin or light, sorry, light skin person. Like, Somebody who is using lightening products or who is fair, naturally. First thing you need to do is to discontinue that product that gave you that face redness. And you need to be on water naturally for some weeks. Just use water on your face. Especially the, you people that even when you use soap on your face, it hurts. I really, you know, I counter people who have gone through this and I, I feel for them. They can't walk in the sun. Sometimes I even had to, you know, 
give them the idea of using sunshade that is speck when going out in sun that calm it a bit but it still doesn't give them the solution to cure that physical appearance so the, there are two ways to solving or clearing red face redness or rosacea one of it is to try the trado method which is the traditional method and secondly is to try the actives gel so one of the traditional method that i know that you can try is one of it is palm oil i had to jot it down here palm oil turmeric honey and egg white what do i mean by this you get turmeric of about one tablespoon egg white when i mean egg white when you break a egg take out that yolk so the, the remaining one that turns to white when you boil it is the one we need that's why we call it egg white the egg white and honey a tablespoon of honey and a tablespoon of palm oil you mix this together so you rinse your face after rinsing your face you spread this like a mask gel on your face and leave it till it get dry like you leave it on your face till it get dry make sure most times i would advise you to do this on possibly weekends when you are home just spread this on your face use that every day and what i need to tell you is beautiful people when you are using a product on your face especially maybe it's a face cream and you see that it's working faster it's giving you that whiteness faster you need to slow down on it those are the things that cause face redness when a product, when you use a face cream and then quickly you see that your face has gotten light, that is when you should slow down. That is when you should start interrupting it. That's when you should maybe use it today and not use it for like two days. Then use it again. So that it will not ruin, you know, the layer of your skin, especially your face. So you mix that together and spread on your face. So you use that every day. It begins to come. You know what palm oil does? Traditionally in Africa, palm oil is a suppressor. If any child or baby takes anything harmful or an harmful substance, maybe they take they, they drink something. I have one of my nephews that drank kerosene while young. I saw my grandmother gives him um, palm oil and it subsided before the doctor came to treat him. So, palm oil, honey as well, turmeric and egg white. Mix it together, spread it on your face every night or possibly weekends when you are home. But I know everybody returns to their home every night or so whatever place you are, whatever residence that you say, just use that every night and don't use anything for that period for at least a month. Use that. And when you're going out in the sun, please use shade. I have a big shade I use, even me not having redness, I have a big shade I use on my face. Because when you're a light-skinned person, you are susceptible to sunburn, redness, and so on. So you have to be very careful. It's costly to look for a solution. That is why I don't even joke or jeopardize that. So secondly, is the gel that I'm going to be introducing today. The gel I'm going to be introducing today is an active powder or an active that is even in human body that helps with you know injury it's it's actually like a, a way the body reacts to when an injury wants to be healed it's found in the human body as well but as well they found the property you know physically that can be used as solution i'm talking about the hyaluronic acid i don't know how you pronounce it Hyaluronic acid gel. Hyaluronic is good for almost anything that has to do with healing on the, you know, human body. At a point, I used it for someone who was in need of a solution for their stretch mark. I used the hyaluronic for them in making their skin, customizing the solution for them as well. But today, we'll be talking about the hyaluronic acid moisturizing facial gel 
I think I got this for about 2,000 Naira in the Nigeria market in the organic store, my supplier store. So this gel is very, very good. When I told you I sent that lady to a dermatologist, when she came back, she asked me that, please, what is hyaluronic gel? That the dermatologist told her to go get hyaluronic property gel, like a gel that has hyaluronic in it, or that has a base of hyaluronic acid. So she came back <clears throat> and told me that. So since then, I've said that I'm going to come to this channel to review it to you guys. So the hyaluronic gel is colorless. I've used for some of my clients as well, the people that needed it. I had to give it to them with the traditional method of um, face redness clearing. So this is it. It's colorless. All you have to do is, if you don't want to try the traditional one, maybe you don't have time to be leaving things on your face, wasting time, waiting because you have to be careful. You don't have to let your clothes be stained because of the palm oil. So you know, turmeric can be staining as well because it's yellow. So you are using all of those things on your face and you have to be very careful. So if you don't have that time, you can just get the hyaluronic acid face moisturizer, or facial gel moisturizing. So this will help you calm that redness. Keep using till it's finished. If you, you, you will surely love the results. So when you're done using it, you can still get another one. Keep using and do not go out without a sunshade. Don't use any ash thing on your face for that period. And discontinue whatever causes that face redness. So this is what I have to tell you today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Shout out to 150 something subscribers. I was supposed to mention it before the beginning of this video. So I saw 150 and then came back. I saw 150 something. Thank you so much. We are improving. Thank you for sticking to this channel. I'm coming back with some good, 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 good reviews on products. And we'll be having a practical soon as well. Thank you. See you next time. I love you. I love your skin.